Hi everybody, welcome back to Diary of My Dragon. It is now Monday, so I'm starting this vlog all kind of wonky, I suppose, uh, because I didn't vlog properly yesterday. So first of all, I want to apologise because I didn't actually film very much yesterday um, because it was all a bit crazy. I was trying to get back for Mother's Day and all the rest of it, but I really want to have this on our YouTube kind of journey because, you know, our, our last video was about us winning. Was that our last video? Don't remember. Oh, we did, um, yes, so we did our Balancing Life one. I say our, it's only me. <laughs> we did the Balancing Life, but also the winning one last week. So yesterday we went out and went competing again. Um, and this is kind of the vlog about it. So um, I'll let you watch everything and then I'll give you the rundown. <laughs> talking quite quietly because I'm in the tap room and I know that people are out there. Um, as you can see, I'm in my rowing gear, absolutely soaked, just got back from racing um, and tomorrow we're going show jumping so I'm back at the yard, I'm going to hack crew out and then um, get everything ready. I'm hoping I'll get some footage for you guys but if not this just might be a get ready with me vlog, <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, let's. Uh, I need to go and find Rue. We are just out on a quick leg stretch to make sure that Ruby's feeling good for tomorrow, which I mean, as you can see from her bounce, she's feeling very good. Oh, come on. Uh, we are gonna have a quick blast up the bank and then head for home. I'm fully expecting all the sexy trot on the way home, so I better sit tight for that. No one else missed the sexy trot. No leg on, hands pretty loose, but we're still sexy trotting. There's no point for them unless it won't work. We are wired, man. Why are you me rude? It's now Saturday morning, I've got my show shirt on, I'm in the truck, I'm gonna go and hitch up, load up and head to Pendavis. I've got Faith coming with me today, which is really nice, so if I get round to vlogging, then I'll <laughs> make sure that I include her in there. But yeah, let's go! So yeah, that was kind of all the footage that I got of yesterday. Um, massive, massive thanks to Faith for coming with me and for filming. I really, really appreciate it. Um, so our round and the whole day, oh, I'm so proud of Ruby because, you know, when I got there, 
I walked the course and I was terrified. And one of my lovely friends, Penny, came up and gave me a hug and basically went, the course is really technical. There's lots of twists and turns. There's a double in there with a dodgy stride. Like, just don't think it's easy because it's not kind of thing. So I walked it and I instantly felt sick. And then warming up, there was all these, like, just amazing riders around me with really posh horses. I mean, Ruby. Not that Ruby's not posh. She's not posh. You know what I mean? And I was like, oh, and I was already a little bit nervous because after seeing the entry list was like, there are some phenomenal horses and riders in there. So that was already playing on my mind. And I got up in the warm up ring and was like, not feeling this, not feeling this. Um, but the minute I went into the arena and I heard like, now entering the ring is Keris Basher riding Limfield Night Fury. I was like, that's just awesome. Gave me complete goosebumps. And so we did the round and I must admit to you it's the most confident I've ever felt doing a show jumping around with her you know we went in there was 12 jumps to remember it was very twisty turny there was a triple bar jump which we've never done before I wasn't sure how she was going to take that um and obviously the doubles as well so as you'll see in the footage we did take two really annoying poles which I think I don't know whether I didn't have her sat back in her hooks enough so that she was going or whether she just wasn't respecting the fences because they were smaller than what we've been jumping recently I'm not really sure, but we had those two really annoying poles. I mean, the double one that came down, I didn't even realise I'd had that down until I watched the footage back because it was that quiet. So I must have, she must have literally just kissed it with her back legs. So we had eight faults, but we were, that left us 14th out of 18. I'm not going to grumble at that because we got around in one piece and that was all I wanted. She didn't look at anything. She just flew absolutely everything. And then to top it off, her loading was spectacular. She was brilliant. She was absolutely perfect all day from start to finish. So I can't fault her at all. I can't fault her. I had a really brilliant day. Like I said, it was the most confident I've ever felt. And I got back into home for Mother's Day lunch. So overall spot, all out, spot on outing. But this does show the highs and lows of horses. You know, last weekend we won. This weekend we were way back down the leaderboard again. And that's just the way it is. That is the way it is. And I'm, I can't let that get to me especially when actually this round felt a lot better than the round we rode last week that's just horses so yeah i'm really chuffed and i'm really looking forward to getting out again next week i'm afraid this youtube channel is just going to be like footage of our shows for a minute because i'm trying to get out as much as possible to enjoy this season while i've got it so yeah Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to leave you with the professional photos. There are a couple of hilarious ones of my face. Um, but yeah, if you've enjoyed this, please like and subscribe or check out my other videos. That would be amazing. Um, yeah, cheers and gone. Bye.